In a statement issued by Olumuiwa Dejobi, the first public relations officer, the MPF cited public concerns regarding alleged illicit transactions and collusion between POS operators and certain police personnel as the rationale behind the ban. Adejobi highlighted that despite previous directives, some clans and formations within the MPF have persisted in flouting the regulation, necessitating the reiteration of the ban to safeguard the security and integrity of police operations. The use of payment devices within police premises, according to the statement, poses inherent risks, including the compromise of sensitive information and the facilitation of illicit activities. The statement said the Nigerian police force following public outcry on alleged illegal and illicit transactions through points of sale, POS machine operators and connivance with certain police operatives hereby reiterates the ban on the utilization of POS machines and other electronic mobile money transaction devices within police stations and other police facilities nationwide. The authority said despite previous directives, it has come to the attention of the force leadership that some commands and formations continue to flout this regulation. As such, the IGP warns that any violation of this ban will attract severe sanctions on the leadership of the affected commands and formations. The IG noted that the use of electronic payment devices within police facilities poses significant risks, including the potential compromise of sensitive information, financial irregularities, and the facilitation of illicit activities. Therefore, strict adherence to this directive is non-negotiable. The first public relations officer stressed the importance of officials adhering to the directive. He called that any breach by officers or POS operators would result in severe sanctions imposed on the leadership of the affected formations or commands. The IG urges all officers and personnel to comply with this directive without exception. He warns that any police officer or POS operator found contravening this order or colluding in illicit financial transactions will face appropriate disciplinary and criminal action in accordance with existing laws and regulations. The command formation leadership will equally be held accountable, he emphasized. Oluwatoyi Oyedola reporting for BTV News.